Heads up, dear viewers. So, there were a few things early in the game that, according to the comments, I missed the first time around. So, I decided to play through the start again and get caught up to where I was in the previous video, just so that I could check out some of these things. First, there was a note by Captain Mayhew. You can pause to read that if you like. I played it as closely as I could to the first time around, so things like my chaos level didn't change. Second, I didn't even notice Emily turned to stone was still in this room. I made an assumption, I guess, that Delilah, when she left, would have taken Emily with her, Look at this so I didn't even think to check around here for Emily. The room really is quite messy at this point, and Emily is a statue of dark marble. Unfortunately, sort of just blends into the low light in this area, so I, I just missed her the first time around. Emily, I'll make this right. I promise. Third, there's the throne. Her reign is off to a grand start. And fourth, there's this painting of Jessamine. Out of respect for the fallen loyal soldier and out of respect for Jessamine, I moved this body before inspecting the painting. Trouble has found us again, Jessamine. Murdered for nothing more than their loyalty to Emily. Ruthless. And that's about all I wanted to backtrack for. I probably picked up a slightly different amount of coin or equipment this time around, but that's not really an issue. Now, I decided to do this backtracking this time around because A, I didn't want to miss these beginning of game things, and B, at this point, it's early enough in the game that a, a quick step back to see some of this stuff wasn't very difficult to do and wouldn't have much of an impact going forward. Look like okay, well, now that we've covered that, we can get on with the playthrough proper. You know, with the live commentary and everything. All right, thanks a lot for watching, and I hope you folks enjoy. All right, we're back. Let's do some stuff. There we go. Just edit past that. All right, so there is one other thing that I wanted to do greatly influenced by the comments of my previous videos. That's a nice statue. I wanted to come in here because there was something very important that I missed. Uh, so there is this safe, right? But the combination, as the comments pointed out, is very much in this room. But now I've got to figure out how to get to this room. Um, but it's a good thing I cleared out the guards, because from what I've been told, uh, you can't get into this room without making a lot of noise, so I've got to find the explosives. I'll pick that up, that'll be useful. But yeah, I've got to find the explosives. Wait, why, why wasn't that picked up already? Interesting. Um, go ahead and eat this stuff too. No, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. The combination is right here. <laughs> I wonder how I wonder how many of you I had going right there. <laughs> be be open about it. Admit it. Admit it. If I got you there, let me know. Pistol, bullets, and money. There. Got Mr. Calvani's funding, and we're ready to go. Now I can pick up and play properly. Uh, this is the other way. I think I can play properly going forward. I want to kind of look over here, though, real quick. Okay. Look, another health question. Yeah, th I'm getting some of those sound glitches still. Really hope this game gets a patch soon enough. I think there was something over here, too. No, I think I'm good. I can't quite make that yet. I can make that, though. Interesting. Very interesting. I think I already came in here. Yeah. 
I did some of this stuff. Close up that safe. <coughs> Woo! Fun stuff. Alright. Now we can hit. Whoa, what? Now we can head into uncharted territory, which is basically all this. Dunwall Courier. Okay. There's a courier building. And these sideways you would use if you were one of them stealthy types. No way. The guy's like walking around. He's like, no way! All these corpses! What? No way! That can't be right! Man, these corpses stink! Oh, no, no, no. He's not a guard or anything. But I don't need him running around telling people where I am. So we're just going to do this right quick. Oh, wait. He had a talk option. <laughs> My bad, buddy. That's okay. It's okay. It's all right. I didn't need to know what you were going to say. Uh, I don't really need to hide him anywhere. We can just be like... <laughs> Sorry, friend. I didn't realize you were going to have a talk option. It's just my first instinct to choke people out when I don't want them to, you know, see me. Tower District. Where am I? Okay, the Black Pony Pub, Dunwall Courier. That's right there. So the Black Pony Pub is just past that checkpoint. Then we have the City Watch Armory, which was back here. Four, the Tower Gate, of course, and five, Boyle Industries Office. Okie dokie, then. So, we are right here, up against the wall of the Boyle Industries Office. I wonder what Boyle Industries is all about. Dunwall Cartography. So up ahead, with Black Pony Pubs, that's the next building of interest. Well, besides the one we're about to enter here. New map, Editor Journal. That's fun. So we're going to sneak around the uh, back so way. So it's a coup. The Caldwins have finally fallen. Never thought I'd see the day. It seems so. And even the legendary Corvo Atano couldn't stop it. Shh, we shouldn't be talking about this. Until later, then. Uh. Yes. Legendary Corvo Atano is going to knock you out. Actually, if you're civilians, I should just be able to talk to you. I mean, when's, it, when's this going to stop? This is just ridiculous. Howdy. It's crazy. I mean, this place has Are changed a lot tonight? over the years, and not for the better. You have to understand. I'm going to call for help if, if you don't go. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, I understand. I'm out of here. hundred times I thought you about leaving this place. Later? Nah, not you this bet. time. <laughs> the voices! They're not like voices in my head. They're your voices. And they're you're talking over each other. You guys are rude. I can't do anything for you. You'd better run. Are you threatening me? This, did you just threaten Corvo Atano? Oh, you are so lucky that you are a citizen of Emily's city? Or I'd be fucking you up right now. I'd, like, kick you, and then I'd choke you out, and then I'd probably throw you in a dumpster. Yeah, good luck getting that smell out. If you were lucky enough to avoid my blade. I can't control that thing sometimes. It just goes all willy-nilly sometimes, and I, I just don't know what to do with it. Sometimes it finds the flesh of those who have threatened me. It's like a magnet. Really now, the back way into Boyle Industries. Cool. Playing dice tonight. You in? Wouldn't miss that. Are you not gonna drink while playing dice? Because she's like, I'll get the cigars tomorrow. Wanna buy one? Because he's like, you want a beer? And he's like, nah, not tonight. And he's like, I'm going to play dice tonight. You want to come? She's like, yeah. So apparently this guy takes his dice very seriously. He wants to do it sober. See, these are the kinds of things you pick up when you're the Lord Protector and Spy Master. And also when you're legendary. So I can set an alarm. Maybe the crown killer will come back. What's going on? Maybe an easy way for me to earn a medal. Come and inspect what's going on, why don't ya? I didn't sign up to fight some freak like the crown killer. The cannibal and whatnot. Did you just call me a cannibal? Where are you getting these rumors? Oh, this is a terrible assignment. Who wants to keep watch over a place where someone was just gutted? Even if it was an ass like they could buy the boy. Something stinks around. It's not my job to clean up. 
Is this guy legitimately doing that right now? Uh. Ow! What just happened? See, told you, I can't control this thing sometimes. Just found a neck. I just started swinging it wildly and it found a neck. Alright, we gotta hide this. Uh, I don't know what happened. Like, I clicked to pull off an assassination and it looked like Corvo pulled back Amy Wang Wang to start an assassination animation. But then it locked in place. Maybe it's because I was holding the blade down or holding left click? I don't know. I don't know. That's... I don't know what just happened there. But it seemed a little glitchy or a little buggy or something. But whatever. It worked out. Is that dry? You really go for a whiskey or something. Maybe one of them two penny drinks. Yeah, I heard the two penny drinks are really good. You can tell because they cost two pennies. <laughs> Why would I need to use this? Uh, sounds like that might make some noise, so I'm not going to use it. Are you not wondering where your buddy is at this point? Oh, am I? Like a stocking without a leg, that's what. Nothing. Worse than nothing. Oh, that guy's depressed. I might spare him. I only kill people who are happy. Because if you're an asshole and you're working for an asshole and you're depressed about it, that means you regret it. But if you're not an asshole and you're working for an asshole, or if you are an asshole and you're working for an asshole, and you're happy, that means you're totally glad doing that. I'm just kidding. There's no sense of logic to justify me saying I only kill happy people. I kill anybody, happy or sad. I don't even consider it. If they threaten me, or Emily, or Dunwall. Or they look at me the wrong way. Or I feel like it. That's not what I wanted to do. Keep alert. And I says I am alert. I've been alert. And he says, yeah, but this time I really mean it. <laughs> I really mean it, man. Stay alert. You kind of walk down the stairs that you're looking over here. Don't mind me. Getting so one can't even. Is there? I'm trying to figure out the lean mechanics. It kind of like locked me into a right lean, and then it locked me into a left lean. I was trying to move around, and as a result, this guy saw me like trying to figure out how my body works, <laughs> and he's like, "Somebody there." <laughs> Come in to inspect. We can make things happen. That's Corvo with time. Oh, you come into play too. <laughs> One at a time. Keep them clear. Bone charms. Mm, 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 we've read that. Cash register. And it's empty. Dang. Missed opportunity. Oh, but these ones are actually on the desk. On the counter here. No! Open up! Okay, so you've got to target the coins specifically. Because if you don't, you might accidentally hit the cash register again and close it. Got it. Awkward. But I got it. Right, set that alarm. See what happens. That is a coin. I should be able to loot that. There it is. Ding, ding. You hear the bell? Oof. Nothing in the left two. What is this? 
I'm gonna assume there's nothing in that tin. Okay. But it seems awkward to make me jump like that to look into it. What is this? I was trying to look through the keyhole, but apparently we'll unlock it first. We'll unlatch it. So this leads out into the alleyway. Tick, tick, tick. The crown killer is watching. Oh, wait, no, no. Earlier they said the crown killer. They said they didn't want to... Did they say they wanted to go after the crown killer or the royal protector? And then they called one of those a cannibal? But I think they're confused because I, I don't know if those guys or these people know that Corvo is not the crown killer. So it's kind of confusing to determine who they were referring to, really. But if the crown killer is a fucking cannibal, that's fucked up. These look lootable. Cool. Emily would be proud of me robbing Boyle Industries here in her city. Why am I doing this? I don't even know. I think the whole point was for me to come in here stealthily and loot whatever I could, but what is this? Ichabod Boyle, torn apart by the Crown Killer. No friend of mine. Maybe he didn't deserve to die like that. Ah. But. A proponent, or an opponent of Emily's reign. Yeah, maybe he didn't deserve to die that way. I mean, clearly he didn't deserve to die that way. But, I mean, that's one less political opponent that Emily has to worry about. <laughs> Gotta look at the bright side. And, yeah, I realize that Emily is turned to stone at this point. But she won't always be turned to stone, if I have my way. I'm just gonna open the bottom ones. And when she's no longer stone, I think she'll be like, oh cool, that boil guy, he uh... He's gonna stop bitching about my policies. And I'll be like, yeah, he died in a very awful way. Crown killer got him. And she'll be like, well, that sucks. Nobody should have to die that way. And I'll be like, yeah. But at least now you're free to implement that new parking meter policy. The one that says that I get to chop off your head if you're late paying it. She'll be like, Dad, that was never on the table. Corvo will be like, well, I am the spy master, so I kind of snuck it into the bill. And she'll be like, did you really? And I'll be like, you'll never know. Just sign the thing. Where's the front door? I mean, I could leave through the back. Oh, is that a front door? <laughs> Ba -ba! The courier. Alright, let's put up my weapon. Yeah, this corpse is that all on the street? You're just gonna kinda chill on the porch? Alright. You seem a bit travel worn, dear. Maybe a good bath is in order. <laughs> uh I wouldn't turn down a bath. How odd, dressing like that, but covering your face. I mean this thing? <laughs> Start tinkering with the lens. So we're in here now. Oh, 
You okay out there? What are you doing? She's sitting on the porch just with all those corpses lying around out there. Alright, let's go in here. Anybody in here? Because I'm stomping around and nobody's like, Hey! Who's there? I'm inclined to believe I can just keep stomping around in here. Mmm, delicious. Grapes. Uh... Is that this office? Let's see. That's the door. And then... That would be paintings. No, that's not this office. Where is this? It's a nice looking place, kinda. It's got those skulls. Those aren't nice. I don't like that kind of decor. Nice table. Maybe I should just spin it. And then go somewhere on it. Like this. And now I'll go somewhere on this globe. Right in the middle of the ocean. Right there. Now I'm on the globe. Like I said I would. <laughs> Sorry, Corvo. I don't mean to make fun of you. Okay, well. Let's head back into the private area. That's where all the good stuff always is. <laughs> he says. Whipping out his gun and sword. <laughs> What is that? It looks so new. It's so bright and white. There's an exit there. But it's one of those doors that doesn't open. <laughs> it sucks. Did I do a thing? Civilians. Where did I come out? Wait. I gotta figure this out. That's the front door. Walked in the front door and went the back. And then I turned left. Okay. If I do this. Go to maps. Where are the maps? Oh, right here. Okay. So, I went in the front door. That's this building, right? Where am I? Uh, this is the courier, is it not? Okay, I got confused. I walked out that building. I haven't passed the gate yet, I don't think. So, I walked in. And I turned left. Is this it? Is this the area right here? Interesting. Don't mind me. Whatever you need, I can't help you. I missed the time when I could go to sleep without wondering if I'd wake up. Yeah. Dunwall sucks. I mean, it didn't used to. I mean, well, I mean, it sucked for a while, but it was getting Maybe better. I should have it looked at. I don't think it's supposed to fester like that. No. Well, a little pus is all right, but this? That guy's got bad problems. Dunwall anticipates sad anniversary. Preparations are well underway for the upcoming anniversary of the assassination of Empress Jessamine Caldwin, taken from us far too soon by deadly conspirators. The yearly remembrance will include a private ceremony to be held within Dunwall Tower, which will host distinguished guests from all corners of the Empire. Young Empress Emily is expected to recall fond memories of her mother and to address the people of Dunwall directly via street speaker. <laughs> Business owners throughout Dunwall say they are ready for the influx of visitors expected on this day of mourning who will need food, lodging, and all manner of items and services during their stay. Interesting. That makes sense. So anyway, this little back alleyway out here. Throwing away newspaper newspaper to read a newspaper to raid raiding newspapers don't know where I'm going with that all right so we can just head back out in the street interesting little setup but the really fun stuff is going to be through there I get the feeling I could have skipped both of these buildings entirely I mean I could have <laughs> that wouldn't have been nearly as fun all right then. Who's I don't where? Know that ship, but maybe the captain can help. What ship? I don't see a ship yet. 
Let's go find a ship. The road is blocked by order of the city watch. Blocked? What am I supposed to do now? Not my concern, citizen. I'd advise you to return to your home. If I can't get through, that's it for my shop. The entire month will be ruined. Trust me. You don't want to be out on the streets right now. Move along. Let me help. <laughs> oh, fuck. Alright, let's try this. Boom! Come on, attack me, attack me, I dare you, I dare you. No? Not going to? <laughs> Ow, fucking rock. <laughs> What's up? What's up? Whoop. Come get some. Road's clear. <laughs> oh man. Sometimes I love being me. Your shop will survive, lady. I totally understand why you ran, though. And that right there is why stealth is my deadliest weapon. I got five health potions left. I gotta be careful when pulling tricks like that, though, without my powers, because that will take up that will take up health potions whenever I do stuff like that. So I'm gonna have to. Like, truly stealth some of this stuff. More grenades! Grenades are awesome. They can be used as weapons or distractions. Pay what you owe! Dang. Crown Killer is like some sort of a debt collector graffiti artist. <laughs> Dunwall whiskey. One would not stay into a day at the botanical garden. That's a horrid idea. <laughs> Straight up interrupted that dude. What would you say to a day at the botanical garden? That's a horrid idea. The botanical gardens are a piece of shit. Oh, hey. Oh, shit. This is not good. Just gonna change things up a little. Gonna retreat. They go. I know you're here. What the fuck is the grenade explosion? Some kind of trouble in this part of town? Honestly, why can't oh, they keep all damn. that riffraff in a separate place? I lost it. Cool, they went to go check out the explosion. They'll be back coming through this way soon, though. Uh, I'd better hide out in the pub, I think. Oh, look, money lying around. First the shortage of whale oil, then the murders. Now, what's ever going on tonight? Uh, wait, what's going on tonight? Maybe I should hire my own bodyguard. I don't feel uh. safe anymore. Oh, you mean this whole mess that we're in. Okay, I thought you were referring to something specific. I heard fighting between some of the guards earlier. This is bad. I would pickpocket her, but so, too many people might see that. I would take them to cash register. I'd pay taxes and all the fees. I'd pay bribes too if it meant the roads weren't blocked off. It's okay, the roads are open now. <sighs> Count Killer strikes again. Shock and fear. Violent demise. Oh, okay, this is something we haven't read yet. Dunwall citizens express shock and fear as yet another outspoken critic of Empress Emily Caldwin has met with a violent demise. The latest victim is none other than Ichabod Boyle. Wait, actually, I think I read this already. Notable entrepreneur and supporter of the arts. Uh, as Her Majesty's most outspoken... Adversaries fall one by one. Okay, yeah. We boldly ask, is it now the duty of the royal protector to murder all who dare to criticize the throne? See, 
And they think I'm a cannibal, too, because that dude is apparently eating his victims? What the fuck? No, that's just gotta be one of those preposterous rumors. Cards later. Somebody's seen something. Now we're all on edge. My heart can't take much more of this. And now you got some dude talking to you in this mask. <laughs> I don't feel safe. What is wrong with this city? You're dirty, like a vagabond or a tradesman. But your clothing is nicely tailored. See, I like that. Every day things are a little bit worse here, even for the upper class. Well, yes, we really wouldn't want to put the upper class through any kind of distress now, would we? <laughs> Eat the stuff in the kitchen here. Dark bread, don't need it right now. Take that. Take that. I'm thinking of having a picnic soon on the back lawn. <laughs> Take this if you folks don't mind. I don't think we've met. That's a jolly good idea. <laughs> that is a jolly good idea that we haven't met. Doesn't make sense. What happened to the bottle? There it is. Might need it. That's all about to change. City watch has its hands full. Shit. The Hatter Gang. About. Can't make it easier for them. That's what I'm <laughs> saying. We need a network of shops selling contraband, just like they've got down in Circonus. People are getting rich in Colero and Karnaka, even after paying the Grand Guard to look the other way. So we set up some black market shops, pass along whatever we score, and we run security for the shopkeepers. Right, and we take a cut on the sales. I'm telling you, the wind is blowing in our favor for once. Hatters are planning to capitalize on all of this. Can't say I blame them. Huh? That's not where I wanted it to land. Just check inside. 